Welcome to this tutorial on how to use Recordbox with Tribe XR. What we're gonna learn in this tutorial is how to get all the Recordbox data onto your headset. A common mistake people make is thinking that Tribe controls Recordbox remotely, but that's not true. After transferring all the data of Recordbox into your headset, you don't need your laptop anymore. So we are gonna transfer the MP3s that we use in Recordbox onto the headset, and we're going to transfer all the metadata of Recordbox onto the headset as well. Before we begin, it's important to know what you can do once it's set up. You can make playlists. You can set hot cues and hot cue loops. You can color your hot cues and hot cue loops. You can set memory cues. You can back up your library and data. And once you've practiced enough in VR, you can now use your Recordbox data on real gear. This tutorial is intended for standalone Tribe XR users using Windows or Mac. Go to recordbox.com and click on Get Started for Free. Click on Agree and Download. Open the installation and follow instructions. Now Recordbox is installed, we're gonna make an account. Click on Login. Don't have an account? Register now. Click on Register and follow instructions. Now Recordbox is installed and you've made the account, you can now log in with this account. Recordbox will ask you to start a plan, but you can just click to proceed. If your free trial is ended, everything you need for Tribe will still be available. So now you've got Recordbox. Go to sidequest.com. Click on Get SideQuest and download the advanced installer. Now open SideQuest. Open Setup Instructions and follow these instructions carefully. This will help to enable the developer mode on your quest, in which you will be enabled to transfer any kind of file onto your quest. If you are a Windows user that owns a Quest 2, you can skip this video to 6 minutes and 36 seconds. For Mac users only, you also need a program called MacDroid. Go to macdroid.app and download the app for free. For Mac users only, you need to connect your wallet to start the free trial of MacDroid. After this process is done, you can stop the subscription for MacDroid and everything will still remain free. The unsubscribe process will also be shown in this video. For Mac users only, you need to activate the activation code. You can find the activation code in your email. It will be named as the license key. Copy the license key and paste it on the activation code. Now activate. Make sure your device is on and wired. Click on the device and click on show in finder. Now you have access to the hard drive of your quest and you will be able to edit and transfer files. For Windows users, Follow this process by opening the File Explorer and opening your USB device. For Mac users, after this process is done, you can unsubscribe for MacDroid. So what we're gonna do first is make a new folder on your desktop. Name this folder Documents. Now open the folder and make a new folder within the folder documents and name this folder Recordbox. 
This is where we're gonna store the XML file later in the process. Now click on SD card. It will bring you to the root of the quest. Click Android. Click Data. Search for com.tribexr.tribexr. Click on Files. Now rename Documents into the word Archive and drag and drop the Documents folder into the Files folder. Now all the data of Recordbox will be stored in this Recordbox folder. But we're gonna do this with SideQuest. So for those Mac users, we don't need Macdroid anymore. To unsubscribe to Macdroid, go into your mail, view receipt, review your subscription, and cancel your subscription. Not only that, you also have to click on help and support, activate, and then deactivate your license. Now everything is set up. This will be your workflow. Open record box. Go to file. Export collection in XML format. I always choose to name the file the date of export. On the left side of the screen you can see my music that is stored on the hard drive and also transferred into the collection of Recordbox. On the right side of the screen you can see the XML file that is now also stored on my hard drive. I'm making sure again that my Quest is wired and the power is on. I open up SideQuest and at the left top I make sure it's connected. Now click on Manage Files on the headset. First, I'm gonna drag and drop my music into the music folder. Second, the XML file need to be stored in the documents folder. So again, we're gonna dive into Android. Now click on data. Search for com.tribexr.tribexr. Click on Files. Documents. Record box. And now drag and drop your exported file into this folder. Now you're done. What's important to know that every time you change something in Recordbox, you need to export the XML file again and replace it with the old one. Now it's time to dive into your headset. Click on Music. Click on My Tracks. And you will see all the folders and the files that you have transferred into the Music folder. With the record box information. Now click on record box and here you will see your playlists and your collection. One last thing before we can start mixing. Go to menu, go to settings, go to equipment and now enable colorful hotcues. This will enable to show all the multicolor hotcues that you have set up in Recordbox. Now it's time to mix. Have fun! If you need help, support, or if you want to share your mix, join our Discord.